Good morning. It's Friday, so that means it's time for another weekend vlog. Um, as of right now, the only things we have planned, of course, are filming. Other than that, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do this weekend, so. Um, I'm not sure what the weather's supposed to be like. It actually felt like fall a couple days this week here in Florida, which was amazing. I made chili, we made pumpkin bread, like we were like, oh, it's fall. And then it rained and got hot and muggy and yeah, so that's that's where we're at we're with October, but it's supposed to be really nice next week, I think. So like a high, like the low 70s, which is gonna be so nice. It's such a nice change. I'm not a Florida girl. Like I'm just not. I've never been a Florida girl, never thought of myself as a Florida girl. I moved here when I was six from Detroit. And so I don't really have you know, that many memories of fall and winter and all that. I did go to high school in North Georgia when I went to boarding school, my sophomore and senior years of, of high school. Um, so I did get to experience that, but I mean, that was, that was a minute ago. So I can't wait. Oliver's gonna graduate this year and go off to college. And it's like finally gonna be able to move. <laughs> and get out of Florida and I'm so excited. I can't wait. Um, I don't know what we're doing yet or where we're going, but I will definitely keep everybody posted on that. But yeah, so the opportunities are kind of endless at this point as far as you know, getting out of here. Aside from living in LA for five years when I was in my early 20s, I've always lived in Florida, so I can't wait to go and explore a little bit. But as for this weekend, uh, it's probably gonna be a lot of cooking again. I don't know how this is turning into like a cooking vlog, but we do spend a lot of time cooking, which is just mind boggling because before I met Chris, I didn't eat very much. I was not a big eater. I would eat like a bag of sun chips or something, like nothing terribly exciting. Um, didn't know how to cook. I feel bad for Oliver, but he's super picky anyway. So, I mean, it was like chicken nuggets kind of stuff. But now it's like, I can actually make things like steak and chicken, which is crazy to me. It's mind blowing. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to this weekend and um, bringing you all along. All right, it's about 11 o'clock. Um, I think Chris said he's gonna get off at like 12.30. So I'm gonna run to the store and get a few things. Um, so I'm just probably gonna run up to Publix. Um, I really need to start cleaning the house and I spent like all morning on the computer. So I'm like, okay, I gotta put it down. I gotta run to the store, cats are hungry. Um, I'm gonna make sure we have food for dinner. And I know we're training our client Keisha at three. And I think that's like the only thing that we have to do today. Um, so we'll see. It's a little muggy outside. Doesn't look like it's all that pretty of a day. So I don't know that we're gonna do much outside, but gonna try to get some errands done and get some work done. I'm hungry. I have forage for some food in this house. So I just got back from the store and I didn't need a whole, whole lot, which is good because it's always kind of tough when I go by myself because we're on the third floor and so it's a lot of trips back and forth, so it's a lot easier when there's two of us. Hi, Joaquin. Say hi. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul. So I finally got some pumpkins, <laughs> and I always like to get the big, ugly-looking pumpkins. They're supposed to be ugly pumpkins, but they're more like fancy pumpkins, because I just like them because they're like a little bit different, and I always get the little white ones. I think they're super cute for decorating. And some walnuts and some more bananas because as you can see, our bananas are just kind of getting past ripe. So I think they're probably gonna end up going in banana bread this weekend. And I got onions, some tomatoes, some mushrooms. We always like these on our steak. Some sugar um, and some brown sugar for baking as well as the baking soda because I was running low and butter. So I like to have just some basic baking things on hand, just in case. And I also got white chocolate and dark chocolate chips because they were on sale, um, which wasn't much of a sale. It was like two for six or something, so it was like 35 cents off. Not all that great, but 
enough to tempt me to get some. And then I got the cat's dry food, because all they have is wet food right now, and they are swarming because they're hungry. And I got a couple of Mio flavors. I love these because I'm not the biggest fan of plain water. So this really helps me get my water in. And then of course, the girly stuff, which we all need at least once a month. So all in all, it was pretty decent. So Joaquin, are you ready to eat? Are you hungry, baby? Yeah. Oh, I also got these flowers. So they had a dozen roses on sale. Um, buy one, get one. So I was like, that's worth it. And I always like to have fresh flowers in the house. You can see that I typically have some kind of flower on our dining room table. So right now I have hydrangeas that I grabbed when I went to Trader Joe's last weekend and they are holding up so well. Like I cannot believe how well these flowers are holding up. They look so good. Better than anywhere else that I've gotten them. So if you haven't watched any of the shows on Netflix, I highly recommend them. So I'm just wearing a sweatshirt. I've got my bombshell leggings on. My trusty view balance. And I'm just like not feeling it today. So I'm gonna wear the sweatshirt. My 3 d training hat on, which is available in our store. Uh, we're gonna get better about linking things below just so that you have them. Um, I always forget that they need to do like what I'm supposed to do for videos to actually play and all this stuff comes up. Oh my god, can you see my boxes in the background? <laughs> There's all my mom samples. <sighs> it's so out of control. I, I can't. dinner time. So what are we having for dinner? We're having steak with mushrooms and onions and tomato and a side of baked potato. And I bought what used to be known as two bok chok at Trader Joe's last week. It is now 450 chok. But you know, it still hits, still hits the same. Right, baby. Yeah. Welcome to that 7% inflation. I mean, when it was called 2 Buck Shock, it was like 20 years ago, so. Yeah, it is what it is. But. That means 20 years ago, you could drink. More than 20 years ago, I could drink. <laughs> Let's talk we're, about that. We're old. We're not old. Fucking season, bitch. Mm. God, you look delicious. 
favorite glass of bourbon. Mm. <laughs> Wise, learned soul. Learn it. That is a bullshit. Saturday. Guess what day it is? What day is it? Leg day. It's fucking leg day. Yeah. I'm really excited. Oh yeah, it's so nice out. We came back from the gym and we went for a walk on Bayshore because it's beautiful outside today. I'm lighting in here so bad. I have this giant dent on my forehead from my hat. Yeah. But now it's time to eat. So we went and stopped and got some garlic bread. And now we're making the shrimp pasta. And Chris is meal prepping all the chickens. All the baby chickens. Resting. Salty. Good morning. It's about six o'clock on Sunday morning. And we're at Advanced shooting another video for our YouTube channel for 3D, as well as some app videos. Because we like to have videos of ourselves doing exercises since we're explaining them on our app. So we have some exercises that we don't have yet. So we're gonna get that done. Uh, there's nobody here yet, which is nice. Um, we're gonna get started.
spent a considerable amount of time today working on making videos and marketing strategies for 3B. So nothing too terribly exciting with filming and we kind of missed out on the day because of it, but it's like, we really need to just focus in and get some work done. So now we're making, what are we making, quesadillas? No, no, whatever you want, it's pretty much in the, in the field. Some sort of turkey. Mexican in shapes. Some sort of turkey and then in a tortilla wrap uh, situation. I'm not supposed to worry about it. I mean, it's not a terrible Sunday. Definitely very relaxing, but incredibly productive, which is what we try to do on the weekends, whether it's getting out and doing something active or working on the business. And because we have so much going on and so many things we're trying to do and create, but it kind of eats away some of the time that we could be out. Always, always researching. Support always people. learning. It's things for people too, though. I don't know, we did some work today. You did some work today. We I saved us today. from zombies for about three hours.